Hi beautiful Libras. Welcome back to the channel Libra. Thank you for joining me here. Libra, let's find out what your fortunes are upcoming for Libra. Thank you guys for your generosity. Welcome to your new subscribers. It's always a pleasure guys. Thanks for your likes. It's a great way of showing you know the universe gratitude for the readings so please do so if you feel inclined it'd be appreciated libra energy please the plane a journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically <clears throat> let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the new renewal of the present eagle you will soar toward your destiny with greater clarity and strength. And now here's the key. For those that are ready to let go of the past, new beginnings, directions, and adventures are awaiting. Libra. Stranger, curiosity, and what's going on? So, the root girl is here, the disowned self. So, you may have felt like someone disowned you for a stranger or that it could have been uh, like... The power of community here is the universe is your partner at this time. The eagle energy again of like the perfect storm, the courage to step into the into life, moving out of stagnation. Sky riding is here. The fates are here. So something was definitely fated to happen to put you in the hands of uh, the community of spirit. This is finding your soul tribe after feeling disowned, feeling rejected. It's been actually been the perfect storm. To awaken the heart so everything is going on track here it is written in the Akashic Library hmm the Akashic fields so there it's writ it's written it was meant to happen whatever this perfect storm was it could have been a third party disowning you for a third party um, it was the perfect storm. It was meant to happen. It was meant. It was written. It was fate. It was destiny to have it happen like this. It was so that spirit could uphold you. It was so that spirit could raise you up. It was so that spirit could uh, become your partner. To bring you closer to spirit, to bring you closer to a, a caring, caring, caring community or caring person or caring situation. It was meant to happen the way it happened. And for those of you that have let go of the past or are willing to let go of the past, this could very well be a new beginning. Enjoy what you're doing. Hmm. Position of high status. So, ooh, geez, there's a masculine here. Dreaming. Coming back to life. Unfinished business. Someone's lonely. Missing home. Ah, 
so it's telling you to move keep your personal life private hmm doors are opening up hmm the awakening the feminine so there's unfinished business here it was meant to happen this way um This is a separation, a breakup to bring something or someone into awareness, perhaps yourself and someone else. They may have been uh, too open about their personal life and leaving room for an opportunity for a third party to step in. Some, that's why you got to keep your personal life private. This person may have opened up to a third party. Discussing their personal issues about their relationship. And they're just looking for the opportunity to break someone up. That's what it's saying. Keep your personal life private. Do not discuss your personal life with your friends, acquaintances, family, soul tribe, anybody else. Keep your talk about the wind for all you want, but keep your personal life quiet because there's an opportunity here that sees the opportunity to enter into create a perfect storm. You know, those people who mean well or pretend that they mean well, you know, tell me what's wrong, tell me what's wrong, and then they open up and then they use that as a weapon, uh, how they can break someone up, of how they can intercede, keep your personal life private. So they can't get over you no matter who they're with. Somebody was spreading their legs and spreading their sexually transmitted diseases. Black sheep of the family, it isn't good for a reason. Wait a bit to open up. So this person was living a double life and their past is catching up to them. It could be their criminal past catching up to them. Leading a double life. Thought that they were just going to celebrate what it was premature. There's STDs going on here. <laughs> Someone trying to jealous and envious. They can't have what you have. Stealing people's time and energy for their own selfishness. Somebody could have been trying to hustle you and others, but you know what they're up to. So there could be now co-parenting issues due to different beliefs. What the hell? They're said they're forgiving, but they aren't. They still resent you. Internet trolls jealous of what you have. Okay, more focused on their looks because they have nothing upstairs. Wasting time on frivolous activities and people. Sleeping with more than one person. And now their bills are more than their salary. Trying to make ends meet. Someone has some secrets that they would, they're blackmailing. Trying to blackmail somebody. Keep your personal life private. So somebody's got some dirt on this person. Yes, they do. They're too open about their personal life. And now it's being used against them. Hmm. Very arrogant, selfish. And now they're in regret. They may regret opening up to someone. 
said that they were forgiving, but they are resentful. This could be a friend that this person opened up to, confessed, you know, what was going on in their personal life. You could have opened up to a friend. You could have confided in a friend and have them betray you about that. Friends, foolish friends, greedy friends. Hmm. Double dipping, giving to more than one person, backstabbing, betraying a friend backstabbing them, blackmailing them now for what they did. So they could have confessed or they could have confided in a friend who then later is now betraying them with that information. They could have disowned you. Someone's criminal behavior is catching up to them. So they may have confided in someone about their past. They could have confided in, you, you know, yeah. They should never have opened up to this person. They've been blackmailing this person. Could be someone in their own family. Hmm. You know, could have been lonely, feeling wounded or hurt, go and talk to a friend or something about what's going on in their personal life. Oh, you can talk to me. We're friends, you know, maybe confided in them in their relationship problems. It's been the perfect storm. Saw it as an opportunity to create a wedge, you know? And now there are parenting issues, co-parenting issues. Hmm. They tricked them. So this person says, you know, you... It could have been you or another person it could have said, like, you know, gee, you seem really depressed. Or is everything okay in your relationship? Is everything okay? And this person um, confessed to them or opened up to them about why they were sad. I could have confessed to them, <clears throat> you know, about some kind of parenting issues or something like that. Well, tell me what's going on. Tell me what's happening. And then using that information to use against them. Mm -hmm. It's about legalities. Now they're being blackmailed with that information. You know, that's a form of blackmail. Now I know all your business. Now I'm going to fuck you over. Basically, I know your business now, and I'm going to use it against you. I'm going to use it as a weapon. That's what happened. Yeah, now they're, yeah, now they're worried. Keep your personal life private, people. That's what it's saying. Don't talk about your relationship. Particularly when it comes to marital issues. You know, when you're having trouble in your relationship or having trouble with your partner... Watch those friends, because these are not your friends. You should never be discussing your personal relationship problems with anybody. Somebody did, and now they regret it.
three people in a situation. It's blackmail, man. I don't care if it's about their finances. I don't care if it's about their relationships. Someone saw it as an opportunity to worm their way into someone's relationship. And, you know, it might have started out like a friendship or thought that this per they're blackmailing them. Using this information, this knowledge, to control them. Hmm. They might have said, you know, let's make this work or something like that. They just seized it as an opportunity. They did to manipulate. Manipulating them out of their partnership and manipulating them out of their finances. I'm sorry, but it's here. Just saw it as a golden, hey, can you, come on, confide in me. What's going wrong? What's going on? You guys okay? Your relationship okay? You know, you can always talk to me. You need a friend. I'll be here. And then this person goes and discusses either their finances, their relationship, or both. Now they're being blackmailed for that. And it is a so-called friend. They were giving to more than one person. I'm just saying. Spiritually trying to attack you. They can't come at you alone because they're scared. Spying on you is part of their daily routine. Your high energy ticks them off. They want to see you suffer bad. They're very, very manipulative. They see you getting all this love and they can't stand it. On a mission to turn others against you. They mock you when they feel jealous toward you. Haters will always gaslight. Be aware of attempted setup. Because dark energy ener entities are using these people to work against you. Spying on your family. to find a loophole how they can mess you over how they can cause you to mess up somehow careful about your personal life careful about your family life discussing things about your finances, your family, or anything, because they're looking to dirt dig to use that as blackmail. Or this has already happened. This is a waste of time, energy, using other people's time, energy, and resources. That's what this is saying. Very selfish, very arrogant. And spying on you. You may have walked away from these people, but they're still trying to accuse you of something. They're very greedy. They're very selfish. Oh, 
Jesus, they're manipulative as hell. Five, five, five of wands, five of swords. Smug, arrogant, win at all costs. <laughs> now I got all the information I need. Now I can manipulate. Now I can get in there and really cause some trouble. us their past is catching up to them they can barely afford to pay their bills wasting time on frivolous activities and other people double dipping giving to more than one person and now it's catching up to them And now somebody is using that information or the fact that they were double dipping against them. This is blackmail. They're mocking you, making fun of you. Hmm. This is King of Wands who's holding a grudge. Because they're heavily burdened. Involved a third party. Someone betrayed them. Someone uh, betrayed them. Or they betrayed you. Gossiped about you. I don't know. Criminal past catching up to them this is some kind of could even have been a childhood friend of theirs who they confided in and now is using that information against them to blackmail them they shouldn't have trusted these people double dipping having sex with more than one person <clears throat> spreading STDs third parties I don't know if this person raped somebody or what they did and they confided in someone else and they confess what they had done and now they're being blackmailed. They could have had a sexual encounter with somebody and now that person is blackmailing them. They could have raped somebody or they could have accused somebody of rape
and now they regret telling this lover or this person what they had done or told them about their personal life or their personal business. Now they regret telling this person. It's the truth. They were playing. And they told this friend what they had done and now that person is blackmailing them. Could be someone in their own family or someone who they were committed to. Now either they're guilty of rape or they've been accused of it, one of the two. They're holding something over this person's head. Something that they confided in them about. Co-parenting issues are here. So somebody could have come up with a story that they are... This is confiding too much about their personal life to somebody. Obtaining money by blackmail. This person got suckered in. Oh, you know, you can confide in me. You can tell me anything. You know, we're friends. You... You know, you can tell me anything. Mm hmm Sure. So this the masculine feels they're walking a lonely path, feeling deserted, neglected, and no support team. That is because they don't have it. And they're being told, you should have kept your personal life private move in silence this person might open up to you they might say what's going on to the feminine energy you may have awakened this individual accusations are flying boy I'm telling you Who are they really? Maybe you feel like you don't even know who this person is anymore. Maybe they did do an act of... Maybe they're guilty of it. And maybe they've been set up. Some are innocent. Some are guilty. like whatever they did in their past and it is a criminal past it is indeed catching up to them which is why you're being protected
Hmm. Whoever was the criminal is paying for what they have done. Take care.